Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim Lop here. Today I want to talk about my plans versus my higher powers plans. If you're anything like me, surrender is something that you do again and again and again, and you hope that you get it right. But when times are trying, like they are right now, or when I'm afraid, I find myself making plans, and they always fall apart, they never work, and sooner or later I go back to my higher power and say, okay, I surrender, please let me know what the plan is, what it is that I need to do. And my higher power's plans are usually about a billion times better than mine, but I need those reminders and I need to be willing to let go of what it is that I think I want because what my higher power wants for me is always something greater than that. It's funny, the signs that I see or the way that I choose to interpret seemingly random encounters or coincidences that take place, quite often my higher power speaks to me through music uh, and that happened earlier today. I was wrestling with something and uh, the radio played a, an old song from Pat Benatar, actually. The lyric is, Now I believe there comes a time when everything just falls in line. We live and learn by our mistakes. The deepest cuts are healed by faith. I'm re reminded that my healing and my journey and all of the things that are good in my life today are not there because I'm so clever that I went out and found them or I worked so hard that I earned everything I have. That just isn't true. I'm grateful for the things and the people especially that are in my life today. I'm grateful because I get to do a lot of really cool things. And none of those happen because of my will or just because of my efforts. Those things are in my life because my higher power put them in my path. And on my good days, I notice what's been put in front of me and I receive it and I work with it and it's good. And when I get down enough or I struggle too much or I get scared enough, I start taking my will back and deciding that maybe I know best how things should go. And then things always fall apart. They don't work the way I plan. And on my good days, I catch it pretty quick and I say, okay, show me what it is that you want me to do. Show me what the plan is. I joke with people I serve that I still don't get emails from God. So I have to maintain a really strong connection to the people that my higher power puts in my path and that, because those are the people that my higher power most readily works through. And I'm very happy to say that most of the people who are closest to me today are in some form of recovery. Most of us from substance use disorder, but an awful lot of us from other conditions as well. Uh, trauma and mental illness most notably. But the best people I know are in some form of recovery and working to get better. And so I notice, again, those coincidences, those little uh, things that probably aren't coincidences that are lining up to show me that there's a better way and what that way is. So as each of us continue to work our way through this epidemic, uh, these pandemics, these uh, very uncertain times socio-politically, I think it's a really great time to take stock and to maintain the the connections that matter most um, to really good people, to ourselves, and to a power greater than ourselves. And if you're anything like me, I think you'll find that what you give up isn't really all that important or precious. It's just what you thought you wanted. And what you'll receive in return is something that's far greater, something that works far more effectively, and something that in the end, um, my experience is that this is kind of how my faith works. Whatever I'm going through, I know that sooner or later it's going to be okay. And then after it's okay, sooner or later it's going to be better than it's ever been. I'm very aware of how the cynic or the atheist experiences that advice. I'm not asking anybody to believe in a deity. What I am saying is surround yourself with people who have kindred spirits, who are on similar journeys, people who are seeking really positive change in their life. It's not about positivity. It's about being real. It's about being able to meaningfully and effectively support each other based on uh, a willingness to be vulnerable, a willingness to be really, really real, and to share uh, what matters most to us. Uh, this is 
obviously a very trying time. We need each other more than ever. Uh, we need support more than we've ever needed. We need self-care more than ever. And so I hope that in this time that you're taking excellent care of you, that you're reaching out, and that you're sharing with good people what your goals are. And if you're like me, and you find yourself uh, struggling to figure it out or fighting to make, the sh make things go your way, I hope you'll step back and recognize that there is something greater than you, and that what it wants for you is much better than what your plans would ever bring to fruition. So, let me know your thoughts or your experience. Would love to hear from you. Jim at SoberNow.com is how you reach me. And please, if you would, give a like on this video, maybe share so that we can expand this conversation with friends and family. And uh, by all means, let me know what topics you'd like to see covered in future talks. Um, in fact, you could just head over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel, Sober Now. There's about 100 videos there now on different aspects of recovery, and we'll be adding more each week. Uh, also, know that uh, Thursdays at noontime, we're doing a Facebook Live Talk on Sober Now's Facebook page, and we'd love to have you join in for that conversation as well. Thanks. Have a great day.